All right. The night streams because I don't get done with work until now. So I thought I would add a little bit more light so it doesn't look so bad in my apartment. I looked at my last stream. I was like, what? Horrible. I hope this is a public stream too because sometimes you forget to put it on. Oh, yes, it is public. All right. So we got keto muscle in the house. Jeez. Right? The muscles. And uh, let's talk about blood sugar. Oops. Blood sugar. High blood sugar on keto. What's up, everyone? What up? So I'm going to keep this a short stream. So don't forget to like up the stream. We've got 39 people in the house, six likes. So every time you guys like the stream, that obviously brings more people to my channel. Welcome back to the channel. That's what they always say. What's up, everyone? Um, best topic ever. Okay, okay. Um, so I thought I would talk about it quickly because for me, it's a no-brainer why your blood sugar is high. But that's because I've been doing the thing for a decade, over a decade, strict, and work with people so I understand. And I get a lot of new people to my streams, and this is the reason why I often repeat myself with stuff. It's to let people know, yo, I've been doing this, that I'm 51, I've been doing this a long time, and I've uh, been working with a lot of people, doing a lot of videos, and so people go like, okay, maybe there is some type of autodidactness to this chick, and she's got some uh, skills through osmosis. From Florida. Yummy cookie, my first pork belly. Yummy, right? How can I work with you? You can go to Stephanie person.com and what's up Deborah Deborah this is a short stream you got to remind me I got 30 minutes and then we got to stop so I'm already at two minutes here so only a 30 minute stream and what's up Lori from the NY probably NY New just New York uh, Joe here talk about raw milk why Joe talking about blood sugar I will tell you that raw milk has too many carbohydrates in it, right? So I think it's about 10, 8 to 10 grams of carbohydrates per cup. It's not ketotic. And so no A2 raw milk on keto. Now, you might be able to do some kefa from A2 cow raw only. But only if you don't have a problem with the way encasing protein in it, which a lot of you do, due to poor gut permeability and mobility. Oh, we got Australia in the house. Yes, I was there now over a year ago in Australia for one month doing a full ketogenic tour to Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane. So I found out the butter is not my friend. Yes, and this is the thing. A lot of people do butter on a ketogenic diet and they just feel horrible and they don't make that equation. But hopefully with me reminding people about having weak gut walls that they will realize that they have to do a lot of experimentation with their food to see if they can even tolerate these quote unquote ketogenic foods, which in nature we would not be eating butter. I get it. But let's talk about the blood sugar. Terry, you haven't even started. You already given me the super chat love. So thank you so much, Terry Nutting for the 25er. No point to say 24.99, right? Because we ain't at Target, okay? It's on sale for $24.99. Thank you for the 25er. I really appreciate the love on the super chat. Um, I always forget that I turned on the super chat some time ago. So thank you. It shows a lot of respect and appreciation when you use your hard earned money to donate to the super chat. Super chat. So thank you so much. Uh, all right. Um, let's talk about the blood sugar before people on the replay chop my head off in the, in the uh, chat below the comment section. So here is a precision, hello Steph, precision extra, right? This is a precision extra glucometer. You have the mojo, which I don't have a mojo with me, but you have a mojo and you have precision. Now, uh, precision is made by Abbott. Uh, it's, it's the parent company to freestyle and to precision. It seems as though that with the blood sugar readings, that with the precision extra, it's a little bit more accurate. Uh, but the Mojo ketones seem to be linear with the 
pa 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 the precision extra ketone reading. So you only test your ketones in the morning because we want that objective number, right? If you eat a bunch of fat, right? It's the same thing with your serum cholesterol. If you eat a bunch of fat and take a serum cholesterol test or test your total cholesterol, it's gonna be really, really high from what you ate, which is subjective. And that's the same thing with your ketones. If you eat a bunch of fat and test your ketones at night, then those ketones are like null and void. They don't count because that's from what you ate. And of course, everybody wants to look aesthetic and lean and uh, want to see what their body is actually burning from the restaurant of your own belly. So with that said, um, but Mojo is just cheaper. If the ketone strips are cheaper and the glucometer is a rough, put you close to what's actually happening within the cell, the urine strips are useless, okay? So don't use them. They're useless. And we are almost to 2019 and it's like people still using those pee strips like it's like Flintstone time. Like what? Are, I cannot believe people are still using urine strips. I do consultations. I just had one now, which is why I'm so late. Uh, I had a consultation with a woman and she was like, I stopped using the urine strips. I was like, there you go. Yep. But uh, she just switched to the, she hadn't even gotten the glucometer yet, which in the uh, consultation, I'm like it's really, really good to go get a glucometer, test your blood values for a month. And so when people come to me, I can already see the trend of their sugars, which, you know, the glucometers can be up to 20% off as far as the reading goes. Um, and the drugstore glucometers, just whatever brand, are useless. They're so bad. Um, focus. Uh, eh, don't forget that I have an Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. I'm trying to grow it organically with no bots and no fakeness. So that's where I do a lot of work is on my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic. I have a Facebook page, which is Stephanie the Business Person, as in boom, right? Look at the games. Uh, the, uh, look at the games, it's so bad, I'm so cheesy. Just copying the millennials. Uh, that's my Facebook, which I post every day, and then I have an actual pay monthly course, keto course at 15 bucks a month that I work my butt off on, okay? I'll do a lot of work on that page. Sometimes it keeps me up later than I want to, making sure that I get to people's concerns and questions and the course subject itself. So Deborah is like reminding people, which I forgot, to like up the chat, collapse the chat window, hit the thumbs up, then reopen the chat window. So basically there's an X in the corner, in the top right corner, you gotta hit that and get exit the chat. And then you'll see a thumbs up, and then you like that, you press on that, and then that'll send a like into that YouTube algorithm. So people come to my very humble channel where I don't BS and lie to you with a bunch of garbage telling you how easy keto is and all this nonsense and throw up some science for y'all. Yes, you heard me right, honey child. Urine strips are useless, okay? When your urine strip turns purple, you're hemorrhaging. Let's get back here. You're hemorrhaging ketones. When you're adapted fully, it's clear. And when you're not adapted, it's clear. So how do you know if you're adapted? Okay, don't waste your money on urine strips. The only time I like to use urine strips is to prove that you're not adapted when it turns purple. <laughs> I'm so sarcastic, I'm sorry. All right, I need the video, yes, thank you. Okay, so um, what you wanna do is your blood sugar number should be between 69 to 80. Those are great numbers. Really the sweet spot is about a 75 to 77. Those are like choice numbers for your blood sugar. And you can test fasted, which is the most objective as well. Stupid S9 droid. Stop. Ah, oh, it just doesn't focus. I went to the friggin' Sprint store three times thinking there was something wrong with the phone and I realized it's just this model. So as we are wasteful humans who are into absolute nonsense and um, consumerism, I will wait for this S9 to go away and I'll get the other version because I will not do an iPhone, even though I have all Mac products, except for a phone. All right, so let's get into the numbers. Um, 
any more runs please. So I will talk about that in a second or else people in the replay are going to chop my neck off, head off. So basically if you have numbers that are between let's say 70 and 83 milligrams per deciliter and yes for the rest of the world let's break it down 4.4 right 4.4 to about 4.6 or we could say a 4.2 to a 4.5 max so 4.5 is getting you over 80 milligrams per deciliter and the millimolars for ketones are all the same in Europe and America. It's all the same. It's millimolars. In the States, we use milligrams per deciliter. And in some countries in Europe, you guys use a decimal. So let's get this very clear on why your blood sugar is too high. So I've explained this in other videos. You cannot lose weight if your blood sugar is high. Okay. For almost the 2019 people. Why do people not understand that your body can break down amino acids, skin, you know, that turkey gobbler under the neck, right here, you know, guys, with the flank, but you can't get rid of this fat, you know, guys, hide it really well. They're like, I'm lean, fill my stomach. I was like, no, 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 turn around. Man, I know where you hide your fat, okay? So don't try to play with Stephanie. I know that the fat is here, bruh, okay? Women, it's here. Men, it's raw right there. And then some men who are like clearly having issues with their body fat over 15%, they're going to get that pooch in the front. But if your body set fat's at 13% and you're a dude, you're going to hold it all here. Unless you're estrogenic and then some men have wide hips and oh, I digress. But with that said, uh, your blood sugar can be high on eating like zero carbs, like zero. Your blood sugar can be high on intermittent fasting. Oh, you guys are donating. Thank you so much, Monique. It was very nice to have her tonight. So, yo, Steph, me and my, what did you say? Oh, your babies. Is that babies? Good babies? <laughs> uh, say hi, hi to your baby, to your granddaughter. Uh, she, she was like, didn't, didn't you talk to her? Well, you have her number. <laughs> oh, your granddaughter's really cute. So I just had a consultation with Monique right there who just donated thank you girl you already donated but thank you for the fiber and uh, we had a great consultation Monique had really great energy I say that I do consultations and like I hear other people say that but here they are in the chat okay so like y'all see is real like I'm not lying that I do consultations all the time because the person I just had a consultation with just showed up in the chat so with that said uh, blood sugar is high because of stress but we don't understand stress so um, people have a thing called the early morning dawns phenomenon, which is or dawns effect, which is high blood sugar in the morning. And you guys can have high blood sugar without eating any carbs. You could fast, you could water fast, you can do everything and still have high blood sugar. So when Mr. Fungus tells you that, you know, fasting can drop your blood sugar, then why pre tell when I have all my people using glucometer prove wrong and differently? So that's the problem is a lot of you guys are experiencing hypoglycemia. So some of you guys, I really forgive me for the lack of focus. It's because the light is not strong enough. So this phone, let me put it up lighter. Maybe see it'll stop not focusing correctly. Focus. Okay. Okay. So, um, so the problem is, is that People will fast and if they've got like really high blood sugar, like if they have insulin resistance, diabetes, they'll go from like a 200, 400, 200, 160. Even if you're at a 100 milligrams per deciliter of high blood sugar, if you have blood sugar in the 6.1, 7.0s for uh, uh, people who use another type of system, the rest of the world that does not use milligrams per deciliter, uh, when... Um, uh, when you're factoring in why your blood sugar is dropping, it's because of if you're not eating anything and you have blood sugar that high, you're going to see a drop in the beginning, right? Because you're eating high carbs, you have, you have adrenal issues, you're very high cortisol driven, and you're just noticing constant gluconeogenesis, which is the breakdown of, of amino acids into glucose, or your triglycerides from your fat cells into glucose, but 
not that many people are well do well at doing that and you have high blood sugar and then because you're not eating anything it'll drop but then it'll just stay right here and it won't go down or you might go down too far and be hypoglycemic not make viable ketones and feel awful fasting so with that said when people do keto and they notice and they're not fasting they're like getting up and what I suggest is to get up and eat a breakfast within 30 minutes because and the reason why I say that is I'm not trying to force you guys to have breakfast I'm trying to stabilize your blood sugar right so eating food is very stressful and demanding to the body to go through the whole digestive process like you need a lot of equipment for the machine you need to get I wonder what would that person say Deborah I'm wondering what people are saying like why are people trolling now but thank you Deborah get them she's on the troll patrol so um, it must be a fasting complete fool who's like fasting's amazing you're wrong mr. fungus is right uh, people get triggered okay even I do a little bit so, so uh, you might notice that uh, your blood sugar is just not stable so the trend is right if you're ket ketotic you're gonna have uh, blood sugar uh, in a ketogenic range in the morning lower because you haven't eaten you've been sleeping and hibernating and then as you get moving cortisol will bring up your blood sugar so you might notice a little trend you might notice that your blood sugar can even get up to the 85 86 from mid morning to about the afternoon range and then between 2 and 4 in the afternoon your cortisol melatonin should shift so melatonin that uh, cortisol that was on its way up is now on its way down and then um, uh, you start to notice that towards that like four five and six that you'll notice that your blood sugar will drop so your blood sugar in the evening should be pretty low not like hypoglycemic low but it shouldn't be insulin resistance high or higher than uh, than it than uh, abnormally should be okay so you guys are making comments I can't see them until I put, put my neck out like an ostrich and look closer um, it helps to stabilize blood sugar yes thank you Deborah Deborah's put, telling me to keep it get to the point and I'll take your guys' questions very quickly so the things that these are things that you have to consider so it you know basically in the modern human's body our blood sugar is like this because of toxins because of poor diet skipping meals doing too much not resting enough crappy sleep you know eating a lot of high carbohydrates that spike up your glucose spike up your insulin drop your blood glucose glucagon's not working anymore it's not working properly your your mechanisms to bring up your blood sugar your gluconeogenesis or IGF-1 is not working and so you just have this hypoglycemic response and it op often happens to you guys in the afternoon some people have it mid-morning and some people are just tired all day long so the body will release adrenaline and cortisol to bring up your blood sugar so you can get through your day and then that stops working and then the coffee dependency rises so more and more cups of coffee to compensate the lack of the balance of cortisol and then melatonin so then you guys have this inverted cortisol reaction so the cortisol is low in the morning it should be really really high in the morning and then uh, it finally starts to pick up towards the night and then like people are awake at night and then they're freaking exhausted all day long until the evening and they're like I feel great now now I can get all my work because I'm a night owl no you have adrenal issues and then that of course exacerbates the thyroid because the thyroid has is like the master control center of your metabolism and it's trying to slow you down but you won't slow down because you keep drinking coffee to compensate really not having any energy the book consultation uh, to book a consultation go to stephanieperson.com correct also to go to my keto course page and try it for one month if you just want to try it so with that said um, these are the things that can you know keep your blood sugar high so your stress your stress you have adrenal insufficiencies you guys this happened way before you did keto this has been going on for a while you just didn't realize it so doing a ketogenic my ketogenic protocol makes you become more aware of your own physiology right you're starting to be aware of like is my hair shedding like am is my poop floating right do I have like leaky gut or gallbladder issues like you don't look at that stuff before you just exist right I'm hungry package stick it in mouth run out the door that's how we live keto steps version of keto oh I've got to buy whole foods and then like prepare them how do I do that uh, being paying more attention to your macros. so a lot of people their stress is high 
So stress, cortisol, too high cortisol, breakdown of like, you know, the, the flabby triceps that, that you guys got the little chub here. Uh, we break down people, they get crepey knees and elbows and crepey skin and it doesn't feel taut anymore and tight. And, um, you know, people are just really inflamed and you've got all these systems in your body that want to put you in, a, in homeostasis. You have the sympathetic earlier part of the day and the parasympathetic, but a lot of women especially just keep the sympathetic going past five. When the sun goes down, you should go down. Everything like light should be dark. It should be dark in here like, like it was last stream. That would be more parasympathetic, but we don't. We've got, we're, we've got the screen next to our face. We've got lights on, kitchen lights, bathroom lights, lights. These things are raising your cortisol. Cortisol in excess is going to break down amino acids and spike your blood sugar, and that's why your blood sugar is high. End of story. Now, inflammation can do this. Anytime the body's like, I feel stressed out, blood sugar's going to spike. Poor sleep, uh, chemicals on the food, the body's like, ooh, there's chemicals. Uh, that creates inflammation. Chemicals on foods, uh, medications, supplements, um, irritation, uh, gut issues when people have an imbalance of gut flora and like there's too much bad bacteria, then the, the good bacteria is like, oh, all these bad bacteria and that creates inflammation and that spikes your blood sugar. These are the reasons why your blood sugar is high on keto. So then you like drop your carbs out and you're like, why do I feel like crap? And I'm like trying to explain to people because you're not using enough ketones, you can pee on the dang strip or you can even test your blood ketones and they're in a range, but feeling tired means you're not using the ketones. And yes, you can make ketones and not use them. You use a little bit of them, but you don't have the true viability of that, those ketones in the bloodstream getting into the cell, getting into the Krebs cycle, getting into the brain and having the energy that stuff has all the time. Okay? Not all the time. Most of the time. So these are the reasons why your blood sugar is high. Now your workouts can spike your blood sugar. Um, you know, getting in, like bumping your elbow can spike your blood sugar. And that's the fight or flight syndrome. But you guys rely on the adrenals for your energy. Hence the coffee, caffeine. No, I swear I like coffee because I like the taste and the routine of it. I just like a warm drink in the winter. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Your nose is poking me in the eye, Pinocchio. Denial is not just a river in Egypt. You all are becoming dependent on this black tar that ruins the mucus lining in your body. That's why you can't do too many cups of it at once. It's a little stomach ache. Yeah. I digress. There's a lot of things wrong with coffee, but that's not the stream. I just wanted you guys to understand why your blood sugar is high in the morning. Now, macros is like 10th on the list when your protein's too high. What do you think blah, blah, blah is saying it's okay to eat a lot of protein? I'm like, I don't need to listen to nobody else except my own experience with thousands of people. Right, Monique? Okay. So when you work with thousands of people and you talk to them every single day, not only in consultations, but on Instagram DMs and on all my Facebook pages and on my course page, and through the experience of people and the clients that I'm existing, uh, currently working with, when you work with people who use a glucometer and you sit down and you be like, let's start from the beginning. Were you breastfed, right? Were you vaginally birthed? Did your parents eat healthy when you were like in utero with your, with your dad, the quality of a sperm? You gotta go that far back. Yo, you gotta go that far back. <coughs> Have you had one antibiotic pill? Have you had half of an antibiotic pill? right? Like what chemicals, what makeup women, what deodorant have you used? All of that stuff matters. So yes, by the time you get down to the way that we digest food, that also matters. How fast and how, when you chew that protein, how fast you chew it? Is it in a protein shake, which is garbage? Like what kind of protein you're eating? Chicken breast? Oh, Deborah, I'm so curious what these people are saying. I got to get to you on the course page and ask why, why these people are deleted. Not why you're deleting them, because clearly they're saying something stupid. But with that said, we got 81 people in the house. Can we get the likes up a little bit higher? Just to bring more people to my very humble abode. So, um, 
Now I've just described all of the reasons why your blood sugar can be up now. Too much protein can spike your blood sugar. How do I know? Because I've worked with thousands of people. So when one person says, I can eat a lot of protein and my blood sugar, I'm like, shut up. You're annoying. You're like a gnat in my ear. And why do people have to say it? It's like, Tourette's. Mine is good. <laughs> like, who cares? Whatever Kool-Aid you're drinking, enjoy. I literally have no problem with what anybody else does. In fact, don't do keto if it's too hard for you. Don't do keto if you've got if you're not disciplined enough because it's not going to work for you. Um, I take that as a com compliment for sure. For sure. How many times do I need to test daily? And Sandra, that's uh, that's a good question. The times that you test daily come down to what health issues you have. I'm sorry. Why doesn't anybody else say that on any other channel? Right? Right? Do you have like, are you bloated? Or do you have adrenal fatigue? Do you have thyroid issues? Like, are you exhausted after your workout? Those are the times that you test. What are they saying, Deborah? Deborah, what are some of these people saying? I'm just curious. Because I don't have like a huge audience right now. Jalapenos. So, Monique, mm, oh, the jalapenos, I would like not really have them. Well, you know what? This is what you can do. You can have a bunch of jalapenos, but jalapenos, did I say jalapenos? Like Filipinos? No, jalapenos. Yeah, anyway, stupid stuff. Okay. Um, so essentially, uh, with the jalapeno, jalapenos, jalapenos, what you want to do is test 10 minutes before and you want to test after one hour. It used to do have people test every 30 minutes, but that's too much. You test after the one hour mark and after the two hour mark. If your blood sugar does, like, if you test your blood sugar and it's here, like whatever that number is. And then you have jalapenos. Test after an hour and then test after the second hour. Because after the second hour, it should drop back to the pre-eaten jalapenos. That's how you test. Uh, I'm going to take your guys' questions and bounce. Uh, it's almost, it's just close to the half hour mark. Um, let's see, diaphragmatic breathing, sleep well, eight hours, wear blue blockers, eat what you suggest no caffeine meditate no floating anything which means poop loracetin which is monolaurin concentrated coconut oil feel great but blood sugar still elevated but eden i don't know if you have an aversion to any plants any if you're having any histamine response to any plant source foods i don't know your personality i don't know if you have a straight plumb line right i don't know if your posture is like this pronated shoulders which is not enough circulation in the upper trunk I don't know if you're a Darth Vader mouth breather when you go to sleep, <laughs> which then you should use some like mouth taping, see that, right? Anything where your central nervous system is overtaxed. So just because you gave me a list of 10 things, that's not enough, enough honey. In your particular DNA, you might need a list of 50 things, honey, before things work. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, oh, I do this, I do this, I do this. Why is my blood sugar high? We are complex creatures. And everybody's individual in the way that they deal with stress and prior damage. Boop. Like, I don't know if you know how to lift properly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know how to lift. I don't know if you swing and wait, right? I don't know if you swing and wait. I don't know if you're like holding your breath. I don't know if you're doing that. I don't know if you are time under tension. I don't know if you're doing that. I don't know how you lift. Ciao. There's so many variables, so many. Can we take your guys' questions? Let's see here. I think you will keep a month of blood sugars and a keto journal, please. Sleep, appetite, hunger level, how you stress, like, like how you sleep, how your sleep is. If you're dreaming, uh, three point five to two high for ketones. No, Peter, it's, yeah, it's too high. I'm not gonna lie, Peter, but it's not terribly high. But it's not just are my ketones between a one point eight and a three point oh. It's do I have some energy, energy, energy on top of all of that and low infl inflammation? You've got to go by symptoms and by the numbers or just as subjective. Energy, energy, energy. Get some energy. Mm-hmm. So Brisace is in the house. I love Brisace and Deborah because what I can't see, they go and just answer questions and uh, really helps a lot. You're welcome, Peter. Why am I always hyper in these chats? I think I'm in a good mood. 
I'm feisty. I'm feisty. And no, I'm not from Canada. My friend sent me this cup. It's like my favorite coffee mug. To drink water. You guys drinking water? Because you need to drink water. You got 30 minutes. Okay, I'll go five more. Five more minutes. Okay, like Michelle on the Facebook page discovered if your meter is inaccurate, you will be making wrong changes to your diet. Go down the rabbit hole. Such a great point, Got Worms one. Such a great point. Yes, the, the glucometer can be off by 20%. And some people start, you know, doing weird stuff because the glucometer, which then your symptoms will play the biggest role. And often I think that symptoms are the most accurate thing to look at and not blood tests. Can I send you my blood values? No. No. Oh, much love, Reese's. You're the best, LOL. Love you. Just tell it like it is. Thank you, Camilla. I do. I do. It's the child in me because I refuse to grow up. Well, I mean, I have the maturity when it's needed, but other than that, who wants to be mature? Okay. Everyone. Uh, uh, okay. I'm swallowing air. I'm probably going to burp. I have one question I've been wondering all day. What is the... What? What? Difference? Difference. Oh, you put an S there. Uh, difference between a cheat day and a refeed day. There's no such thing. There's no cheating on keto. Okay, that's only going to like mess your blood sugar up, create horrible cravings, create hypoglycemia. So... Don't listen to that stuff out there. There's no cheat day. There's no science behind cheat days. If you, you don't cheat, you just go off of keto if you're having hypoglycemia. You have to go and do about 80 carbs, split throughout the day, restore your glycogen, use white rice because it doesn't have all those anti-nutrients. Brown rice has arsenic and it's toxic and so is quinoa and so is kale. And don't do these grain smoothies. Disgusting. Nastiness. Any other questions, you guys, before I bounce? Uh, is training like what? Guku beneficial? I don't even know what training that is, so you might want to describe it, Yin Yang. Uh, what do you think of the keto gain? No, it's garbage. Just get rid of the calculators. Okay, they don't work. They're wrong. No, that's a no. Anything out there where people are trying to make a quick dollar and they just showed up two years ago? No. Okay. If you're going to follow people, at least use your own mind, deconstruct what doesn't make sense, and don't believe that you can predict things like, oh, the, the, my fitness pal, now there's the keto, this calculator, they're garbage. You know how many kids, you know, if I did a screenshot and like went online and like shared the screen with you guys of how many people want to do affiliate programs with me, first of all, I'd be making so much money, which I'm not. Number two... It's all keto garbage. Would you really promote my new keto product or tell me what you think, what's your address so I can say? And I was like, I'm not giving you my address. Are you out of your freaking mind for that stupid product? No. Every product. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. I tried the infrared box and it, it, it's really good for everything for women below their neck. Okay? Not the face. Not the face. Okay, how do I get enough protein and fats when I only eat turkey and fish? Tiffany, you better stop eating that stuff. You can give yourself some kidney stones. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Why are you eating turkey? We didn't hunt no turkey. Girl, you need to give some organ meats. You know what you should do? You should eat turkey feet and get some collagen and then boil the freaking and get the turkey heart and then the turkey um, liver and the gullet and the, and the intestine and throw the rest away. <laughs> And fish. So you're eating white fish and like turkey. Ew, this is nasty. Ew. I'm not messing with you, Tiffany. I'm just silly. You will know that at some point when I'm in a geeky mood, I talk ridiculous. But I have knowledge. I have nuggets of information. You need to have fatty meats. Okay, so these, these are lean meats and they are not going to help your keto adaptation whatsoever. And they are devoid of the fat-soluble vitamins and minerals that you need to have strong cells. So... Like the next stream, I want to do a day stream where I talk about vitamin D. I want to talk about uh, nutritional deficiencies, 
what they look like in people and how that affects your keto adaptation or just your health in general. Vitamin D is like a really big thing. People don't understand that just because you get sun does not mean that you're getting UV, UVB rays to make vitamin D and you have to combine the two. You have to eat vitamin D rich foods, which is not turkey and white fish and you have to get sun exposure to help the thyroid and a lot of other parts of the body's cellular responses, which there are thousands of them that need vitamin D3. Using a sauna, do you mean a red, infrared sauna? So using an infrared sauna is really great, except for women with their face. Okay, just cover the face. Um, saunas in general, I would just be careful because um, people will dehydrate themselves, they'll lose a lot of electrolytes. When I used to go to this other gym, there was a dude that would just work out in the sauna. And I was like, dude, he is fracking his stuff, he is frying his stuff. I was like, bro. But you know, when years pass and they, you see them 10 years later, like, <gasps> what happened? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Let's see here. And using the sauna, okay, okay. Made bone broth today, yesterday, and today, and added beef tallow, and that's great, right? Melanie, that sounds amazing. And I think a lot of people should try more beef tallow and lard. Tell me what's so good about a pig. That's what a guy said today. I'll never eat pork. And then I started telling, and I, like, it is so funny to drop information on people who say, I won't eat this, I won't do that. I, you know, he's like, you know, because it, it was a black dude and a Mexi Mexican dude training. They're like, yeah, we, you know, slaves eat like the, the intestine. And then like, like the Mexican dude's like, yeah, we eat, you know, the, the guts as well. And then they just gave us the worst part of the animals, like uh, part of the animals. Like, actually, it's the best. No, it's not. <sighs> okay. Let me see. I haven't seen you in a while. You got too skinny. I am skinny. Is that skinny? Is that skinny? <laughs> Skinny. No, no. I've got oh. How much lard do I eat? I always eat between 200 and 260 grams of fat. So that's how much tallow I would have. After getting keto adapted, can you start playing sports? Yes. Just order beef tallow to, to use instead of butter. Yes, because a lot of people cannot do butter because they have sensitivities because of a weak gut, right? To the whey and casein, even the small amounts of whey and casein in freaking butter. I've already tried carnivore, Melanie. But I don't do carnivore, okay? If I do it, it's only keto carnivore with your fats over 200. But uh, I actually even did the raw meat and I've done the high meat. I really need to open the jar on my high meat. Yes, and it's not about getting high it's for the bacterial benefits of the gut. That's what high meat's about. See, you still look good though. You're physically attractive, but I'm more attracted to your mind. Because you know what? I'm not this, I'm not that. I'm not black, I'm not white, right? I'm not old and I'm not young. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I'm not left, I'm not right. I'm motherfucking... Freckin' Stephanie. It's all about the mind. It is all about the inner you. That's the most important thing, right? These millennials, I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. They're like robots. We are all we are already in the post-apocalyptic era of people not smiling or saying hello anymore in this country. Can a person with health be healthy eating high fat and high uh, high fat? You mean high fat and high carb? No, high carb will destroy you. Insulin. Ages, advanced glycation end product, the destruction of the protein lining of your cells through high carbs. Yes, that will give you a heart attack. Uh, high fat, low carb, yes. High fat, high carb, heart attack. <laughs> I did not mean to swear. I'm so mad I swore. It just, 
popped out of my mouth. Normally I have it under control. What's wrong with me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. Oh my God. I'm not going to say oh my goodness. All right. So you guys, um, hey Steph, I slept great because of the rain and Kelly. Any more tips on sleeping better? Cheers. Yes. Mouth taping people. Mouth taping this. Yes. I don't work for this company. Somnifix. Diaphragmatic breathing, low light, blue light, blue light, blocking glasses, meditating. Diaphragmatic breathing is a big one. Fill the belly with air, fill it with air, and then <sighs> release until your, your abs are, are popping. Who's awesome? How long do you work out each day? And do you lower your fat intake? Never lower my fat intake. Nope, Kelly, I never do. And my workouts, I try to make my workouts as long as possible if I have the time. So it can be 40 minutes to three hours. Because my gym is my play, playground. Like, it's the best part of my day. Okay, keto. Is keto protocol okay for pregnant women or nursing? Absolutely, but it has to be done correctly or that will be a burden, especially with breastfeeding women. Sometimes their milk ducks dry, ducks dry up on keto because they just do it wrong, the fats are too low, and the protein too high, blah, blah, blah. Um, but women who do it successfully are amazing with uh, keto, being pregnant. Okay, so this is the gut is not a right, wait, if, if the gut is not right, will your blood sugars reflect, the, yes, absolutely. Because Elisa, anytime you have a stress on the gut, you don't digest well, you're having a, a inflama inflammatory reaction, a histamine response to a food that you're eating, which is typically due to poor gut permeability. So when you guys have problems with the gut, big chunks of food into the bloodstream and the body has like a, a uh, infl inflammatory response, the blood sugar will shoot, shoot up through cortisol to protect itself. Inflammation is a way the body protects itself. But the problem is you don't wanna be inflamed every day. Then you start to break down and be catabolic. I mean, they, oh, Kate, tell them, call us, tell them, Kate. Kate's like, I am an example of keto and pregnancy and still nursing. Mm, I love this so much, Kate. Like, there's nothing, I can tell you guys whatever, but when somebody else tells you guys what their experience is, I just sit back and like, just watch the chat. That's awesome. I don't go above 45 grams of protein, Whitney says. Uh, per day because her demand of protein is less. Maybe she's ketotic. Coconut flour, just be very careful with it. Just be, when you get too much of it, it can get a little be problematic with your blood sugar. And definitely if you have a sensitivity to coconuts, but otherwise it's quasi um, approved. So on that note, I have to go because I've gone 10 minutes over time. Deborah gave me the warning and every minute passed when Deborah said it's time to go, I started getting stressed out. Don't forget to like up the stream, you guys. Sorry for being hyper. The reason why I talk so fast is because I try to do it before it gets too late. Been watching your work. You have helped me so much with my blood sugar. Thank you for your honesty. Down 267, down, down to 187. Awesome. All information gone. No more medication. Keep up the great work. Paul J. That's just like music to my ears, you guys. Paul and Kate telling me about a pregnancy and Paul getting his inflammation down and being able to drop weight, drop the inflammation. Such a great thing. Thank you, Whitney. Good night. What's the best time to work out before 2, 2 p.m.? I don't like really early morning because it's really stress on the body. Mid-morning is actually the best time, but a lot of you guys can't do mid-morning. Vitamin D question. I'm in Minnesota. Okay, so you just get a vitamin D. You just get a lamp that has UVB. And you can get ones that are like the length of your body, right? And you just put them on the wall or the door and you stand this way and then you stand that way. Shoot, too thin, child. I look good. What you talking about? 51. What? Boom. Cranking out the full extension uh, pull-ups today. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Is it? Is it? That's Polish. Are you, are you from Poland? I have this like connection to Poland now because I have so many Polish friends here in LA. Uh, is it necessary to start exercising when starting keto? Yes. But if you, if you guys have adrenal issues and thyroid issues, then you want to do really slow, time under tension, start a 12 minute workout, work up to 20, 30. 
Like if you guys are tired, don't get up at freaking four in the morning to go to the gym. That's a sign of adrenal insufficiencies and that will have a rebound of high blood sugar, which the whole subject was blood sugar. You could do like a short workout from home until you stabilize your blood sugar. Then you can get up and go to the gym that early in the morning. All right, guys, thank you so much for all the donations tonight. I completely forgot about the super chat. So um, thanks a lot, amazing, inspiring woman, always referring to you, to my circle of friends and family. Ah, oh, thank you. Is it F F Ed Edipia 82? Yeah, Edipia 82. Thank you so much. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Leto Keto, which I see all the time. Thank you so much, Deborah, for moderating this chat because I guess a lot of nonsense was being said. Thank you, hearts, 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 all the way across. Thank you, everyone. Um, oh, you love my videos. Thank you so much, Nikki. Real talk, all right? The real talk. This is Stephanie. I'm 51 years old. I've been doing keto for a decade. No sugar, no rice, no sweet potato, no nothing, no refeeds, no fasting, um, exercising. And some guy called me Stephanie, no, Susie Keto person at 25 years old. I was like, bro. Just, he's like, you can't do log keto for the long term because she doesn't do explosive workouts. And I was like, bro, my name's not Susie and I am 51 and not 25, fool. All right. And I got energy, 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 energy on keto. Yes. I keep it real. I don't lie to you guys. I love to talk about autoimmunity. I can't stand to talk about weight loss unless you talk about losing the inflammation with your fat loss. And uh, good night, everyone. Brice, good night, Brice. So nice. I will see you on the on the course page. Love you too, Brice. Is a great response. Okay, I'm just reading out what um, Deborah is saying to Brice, which these two women are really awesome in my life. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Keto Person. I will be doing some preloaded up uh, videos. I'm meeting my videographer tomorrow. I'm going to start making videos finally instead of just live streaming. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Is it Stillinger? Stillinger? Yeah. Thank you so much, chlorophyll okay. Chlorophyll is an algae, just be careful that there's no toxins in the little pools of algae because it can frack you up. Just gotta make sure that whatever you take is not toxic. Um, so you guys have a wonderful life. Don't let people tell you what to do. Don't tell people, don't let, tell, don't let people be like, oh, you're so restricted on keto, how do you do that? Don't let people do that to you. Don't let people tell you that you're too old to wear this or act like that. Don't let people do that to you. She's too old to wear that. Don't listen to that. Look, yo, no, no, I, I do what I want. Don't let people tell you that you're to this or you're to that. Just turn off the noise and be yourself. Okay, because that's what I'm doing right now is I don't listen to people tell me, you need to run your chat like this. You need to do that. You can't dress like this. You're too skinny. You're too fat. You're too this. You're too that. You never had kids. Don't listen to that stuff. Just be yourself. Have some energy and um, enjoy your life. Thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you on the next live stream. And I will start making preloaded videos because they need to be shorter. You guys aren't getting information if I'm talking freaking an hour every time. Colorado, you're Hispanic and German, not my maiden name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Got it. All right. Cool. So, um, yes, I need to go enjoy my evening. Thanks guys, and I will see you on the next live stream. How can we donate if it's not live? I don't, uh, I think Monique, I gotta read like YouTube sends me stuff. They're create, I don't know. Child, you already bought a consultation, honey. Go to my course page and sign up for a month. You know, I often tell people if you wanna donate, just go and like buy a meal plan or do a consultation or join my course group, it's 15 bucks. You can do one month or months. But I often get people who just want to don donate to me. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. All right. Thank you, everyone. Noel, what did I miss? Everything, Noel. You got you to gotta watch the no nuts. You got to watch the replay. You didn't miss anything because you're still here, honey. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I try. I try. But hopefully, you know, beauty comes from the inside. Because like when a man's like, oh, you look like this, I'll be like, child, you don't know my inside. If you knew me, you would grab a cross and some garlic and you'd be running. Okay? <laughs> when certain guys try to talk to you on the street, it's the funniest thing ever. Because all I have to do, if I want to scare off a guy, I just talk about science. He's gone like, Pew!
is gone. Like gone, gone is gone. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith, for the compliments. I really appreciate that. And I'm out, you guys. Don't forget to like up the stream for people in the replay. And let me know in the chat below what subjects you want me to talk about. And I'm out.